So you want me to use the second one? No, this is just so they. Oh, so yeah, yeah, so I'll use the first one. Stadium, home of your University of Tampa Spartans. Tonight, the Spartans welcome Rollins College. Here are tonight's starting lineups, beginning with the Tars of Rollins College, who enter tonight's game with a record of 6-4-2. In goal is the junior from Sanford, Florida, number zero, Noel Miller. Midfielder is a junior from Jacksonville, Florida, number two, Sarah Scala. Forward is a freshman from Apopka, Florida, number eight, Rhea Drayton. Forward is a junior from Northampton, England, number nine, Taylor Duffy. Midfielder is a junior from Lisbon, Connecticut, number 16, Kayla Park. Defender is a sophomore from Overland Park, Kansas, number 17, Hunter Meyer. Forward is a junior from Glen Allen, Virginia, number 18, Bailey Trang. Defender is a senior from Helsinki, Finland, number 20, Leah Alternate. Midfielder is a grad student from Jupiter, Florida, number 22, Gianna Marigliano. Midfielder is a freshman from Orlando, Florida, number 21, Valerina Acevedo. And defender is a sophomore from Orlando, Florida, number 25, Sophia Malore. And coach of the stars is Alicia Shuck, assisted by Jane Sousa. And now, here are the starters for your University of Tampa Spartans who enter tonight's game with a record of 6 5 and one In goal is the freshman from Houston, Texas, number zero, Megan Hessel. Forward is a junior from Melbourne, Florida, number three, Elena Barr. Defender is a junior from Boca Raton, Florida, number eight, Quinn Nett. Forward is a sophomore from Southboro, Massachusetts, number ten, Catherine Hostage. Forward is a junior from Garden City, New York, number seventeen, Jackie Morris. Defender is a senior from Raleigh, North Carolina, number eighteen, Ricky Tyler. Forward is a junior from East Line, Connecticut, number 19, Stephanie, Taylor Forcar. Midfield is a sophomore from Chalfont, Pennsylvania, number 20, Brooke Steigerwald. <coughs> Forward is a sophomore from East Florida, number 22, Madison McElroy. The fact is a junior from Sarasota, Florida, number 23, Gabby Desitor. <laughs> And Stacy Kirk. At this time, we ask that you please throw and remove your hats as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Pepin, Florida, I mean, Pepin Stadium. I'm your host, Brendan Davis. For all of us from Tampa Spartans TV, we welcome you tonight. We have the Tampa Spartans versus the Rollins Tars. It's going to be a great matchup tonight. The Tampa Spartans come in as 6-5-1, and, and the Rollins come in as 6-4-2. and two. So that's six wins, four losses, and two ties. Tampa Spartans come off a, a win against the St. Leo Lions their last game. But the previous games, they had a two-game losing streak. So they have a one-game winning streak right now. And then you have the Rollins Stars actually tying the last two games. The last game they had a game against Florida Tech. Nil-nil, that was the result. So as we get going here, folks, it's been a long time for me. Last time I was here, I think it was a month ago. So I would just say, personally, it is very, very nice back to be back here broadcasting the women's soccer team. So Spartan, Spartan women take the floor. The Tars are out. Ready to go. And we all are ready to go. Coming into this matchup, the Spartan women, even though they are five, six five and one, they're still um, second in the SEC standings behind Palm Beach Atlantic, who are eight and three. So they're second in the SEC standings, the conference. Still have a promising chance for the playoffs. I believe the playoffs start in early November. Catherine Hostage at the center of the pitch. Had a goal at last game along with um along with Brooks Steigerwald. Scored last two games against the St. Leo Lions. Ref whistles in and we're off, folks. Spartans. Not taking it lightly. Already coming at it. Good ball in. Heads it out for a corner kick. I believe number 22 in that play, Gianna Merigiano, was trying to head it out for a throw-in. But now we have a corner kick as... Stephanie De La Focade will take the corner. Short ball in, hits off the crossbar, and it's out. So it'll be a goal kick for the Tars. Believe it or not, the Tars haven't lost since September 16th. They've won or either drew against their opponents. So the Spartans are definitely trying to make them lose tonight and get their first loss in over a month. It's quite surprising in soccer. Haven't lost in a month. Wow. Ball. Massac on roll. And the ball goes out. It's going to be a Tars throw in. Quick throwing in. Kirkpatrick hits it out. Throwing in. Spawns fighting for it. Regain possession. Jackie Morris. Balls in. And they cleared out for a throw in. Well, the Knicks won last night. 127-124. Really promising victory. Whole city of New York was 
astound. Fans were raving outside the arena. Everyone was shouting. And only won one game. So imagine they win a championship tonight. I mean, excuse me, this season. Throwing in. Go way to keep it in for the Tars. Here come the Tars. Taylor Duffy hits it off to her teammate in the second center back position. Mevigiano just too far and it will go in for a goal kick. Megan Hessel kicks it off for the Spartans. Tars. Try to get some going. Spartans really putting that pressure in tonight. And a desperate kick goes out for a goal kick. Spawn's formation tonight looks like a 4-3-2-1, if I'm not correct. I mean, if I'm not mistaken. A captain hostage always at that striker position. Reminds me of Edison Cavani at PSG. Tars pushing it up. Try to find a teammate. Nice slide tackle. Tars pushing up. Regain possession. Oh, and no one's there, and, they, and Hessel scoops it up. The Sullivan's trying to get past the defender. Good pressure by Bria Drayton. And it goes out for a charge throw in. Deflection. Who's going to get it? Oh, and Tower goes over the goalie. Ball still in play. And Hessels gets the possession. Wow, what a sequence of events, folks. Both teams looking really sharp tonight. Looking really aggressive on the offensive end. Little, little flip flop play. Try to get it in. And it goes out as Tower kicks it out. Tars. A deep throw in. She said, keep going. Try to head it into the, the box. And the Spartans clear it as Quinn Knapp hits it to hostage. And it goes out for a Spartans throw in. There's Morris. Tries to get to a teammate. The Suttles making sure she has. Good control. She tries to communicate with her teammates. Can Nap get that? Just gets it. Spawn scrambling here as Tar's defense looking really sharp right now. So pressure in on every single possession. A little handball in that play. It will be a nice kick for the Spartans.
Nab kicks it off. A deep ball. Taz, nice touch for keeping the play. And De La Falcar hits it out. Excuse me. McEnholm hits it out. Tao bring that pressure. Tao's had an excellent season so far as we approach November. Let's see what she does in the playoffs. Here are the Tars and the Spartans regain possession. Spartans making sure they don't let the Tars get any close to the goalie. As they have a good ball in. She's onside. Let's see what she does. McAllen rates it for the ball. Keeps it in. Passes to Morris. Shot on target. And Brooke Steigerwald cannot capitalize on that play. Nice play by Noel Miller, the goalkeeper for the Tars. So Spartans first shot to see, I mean, of the game. So ball goes out. Ref missed that handball in that play. So all the players are saying, hand, hand, hand. That look for Cod. Ball goes up. Tars. And of course, Tower hits it off. And it'll be a sponge throw in due to the deflection when Tower threw it off. That's hostage. Ball passes the Stagawalt. There's Nap. Nap. Good ball. Can Stago? I mean, Morris get it. And Beasley is right there. A good read by Beasley on that play. Thirty-five minutes left in this half. Nil nil. We still have an early game, folks. Both teams eager to score early. So they go into the first half. Uh, to, excuse me, the halftime. Looking confident. It's gonna be a throw-in. For the Tars. Here come the Tars. Cross in. And a good save by Hessel. Hessel kicks it deep. Oh, I think she messed up on that play by accident. I think she tried to get to her teammates in the center. Let's see what the Tars can do. So the ball goes out for another Spartans throw in. Couple of mistakes on both ends early. So you get the pregame nerves still coming in. It's been a while since. The Spartan women have played at home. I believe it's been, I would say, two, three weeks. Two weeks. So, as they try to get comfortable playing back in their home. Against the Tars. Here's the hostage. Therefore, Kai just sure could not get that. Nice dribbling by Park. Kicks it to a teammate. There's Nap right there. Good defense. McElhone keeps it in play. Oh, and it just goes out for a Tars throw in.
as Hessel gets that play. Hessel kicks it up. Stagwell passes it just too far for Knapp to get it. I wouldn't say the game is too slow paced a little bit. I believe both teams are still trying to figure each other out early in this half. Oh, nice touch. Promising play on here. Can she cross it in? As Steigerwald clears it out for a corner kick. A nice run by the Tars in that play. Speaking of Rollins, like I said previously, Tampa Spartans are t number two ranking in the SEC Conference. Right behind them are the Rollins at six, I mean, excuse me, four, zero, and two. They have not lost in the conference. So this is a conference game, folks. So let's see if that O will go. Ball goes up. Hits it out. The Suttles clears it. Mevigiano gets it to the middle. Tar try to get something in. Ball just too far for her teammate. And it goes out for a goal kick. I must say, the Tars do have some good strategies coming into this game as they try to cross it in at the top of the box. But I believe the ball is just too strong as they're kicking it a little bit too strong. Hessels. Tars regain possession. Drayton trying to get to her teammates. There's Knapp. Eight versus eight. Here's Park. Park running. And Morris gets to play. Morris down the pitch. And it goes out for a Spartan throw in. De La Facade. Ball goes out for another Spartan throw in. 30 minutes left here in, in the first half. Nil nil still. Renee Tower, that's in the back position. Spawns fighting. It's off her chin, I believe so. And uh, she throws, kicks it out for a, a charge throw in. At least try to get it to her teammate, Stephanie De La Facade. Oh, and good pressure by Hostage. Ball is just too far, right in Hessel's hands. Great pressure by the striker, Catherine Hostage, as we don't really see that by strikers bringing that, um, that pressure. Only in some occurrences, but not always, as Hostage never, never takes her foot off the gas pedal when she plays. Someone who never takes a foot off the gas bus is also Russell Westbrook. So I would say Captain Hodges has a little bit of similarities like Russell Westbrook. Here's the Spartans. Ref calls it. Little head to head co on contact. Because Tar's free kick. A deep ball gets to the middle. There's Stagawalt right there. Scala. Ball goes up and is just out as Vilja. I'm sorry, I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> uh, Vilja Altanan. Out of Finland. Kicks it out. 
Here are the Tars again. Little blue play. The Settles kicks it right to a Tars opponent. Ball in, unmarked. That Razzling Dazzling trying to dribble past the defender. And it goes out for a corner kick. Acevedo, number 23 on that play. So here the Tars for the kick. Balls up. Little header. Still in play. Good defense by the Spartans. And it goes out for a goal kick. It's a great drawn up play by the Spart uh, by the excuse me by the Tars. But better defense by the Spartans. Hesso kicks it up. Tries to get it to Della Fakad. Nice dribbling by Park. Passes to Oleo Allure. Ball in. Just a little bit too far. But there's Sarah right there. There's Drayton. Trying to get somebody. Pass it to a teammate. Oh, it cannot connect. Allure. Mervigiano. Oh, almost a high boot in that play. As the Spartans regain possession and clear it. Great clearance. By Aaron McCarthy. For the Spartans. Here's Barr. Barr gets to McElhone. McElhone pushing up the pitch. Oh, and Knapp cannot keep it in play. I believe Knapp was expecting him to keep continue rolling. Oh! As Renee Tao collides into Drayton. And Drayton soars to the ground. Look like she got hit by a car. Wow. The strength by Tao is ridiculous. Surprising no booking on that play by the ref. But the ref will definitely keep his eyes on Tao. In the foreseeable future. Free kick. Hessels. And a goal for the Tars. A misread by Hessels. As she falls to the ground. And the Tars score. 1-0. Tars. A great volley. Believe that was. Park. Kayla Park on that play, I believe so. So the Spartans down 1 0 with 24 minutes left. Here's the retaliation. The Suttles gets it to Della Focard. Della Fakad, as she steps out, and it goes out for a Tars throw-in. Wow, what a play on that. A great volley, perfectly timed, misread by Hessels, and it leads to a Tars goal. Wow, great defense. Good pressure by the Tars. Council, by number 16, Kayla Park. Kayla Park. Definitely bring that motivation as she just scored.
Almost a handball. I believe that's a handball in that play. So ref lets it go. Be a be another charge throw in. And we love to see goals like that. Volleys are one of the most difficult goals just to to um it's one of the most difficult goals to score in soccer. So it's definitely very, very entertaining to see. Here's Park again. Pushes down into the box. Gets it to the teammate. Teammate crosses it. Teammate heads it. There's Drayton. There's a shot. A nice save by Hessels. She was not going to let that go. Deep ball by Hessels. Tars are looking really sharp here as they're controlling the majority of possessions early in this half. Communicating, spacing. There's Knapp. Great read by Knapp. Oh, a miscommunication as you try to get it to hostage. Here's Park again. Pushes down. Good defense by the Spartans and they try to clear it. Spartans are looking a little bit lazy on their feet. Mispositioning on their plays as the ball goes out. Will be a, it was an offside on that play. Hessels raises the hand. Here's the kick. There's Jalissa Richardson. Richardson heads it. Here's Hostage. Nice little bloop by Hostage. Hostage goes down the pitch. And it's going to be a goal kick. Hostage definitely wanted to cross it, but had no spacing and no time. Speaking of Jalissa Richardson, she actually just came on. Let's see what she does. As she really brings life to the Spartans. Here's the speed from Richardson. She tries to get that ball. And it will be another Spartans throw in. Twenty minutes left in this half. One nil still. Tars lead. Spartans desperately trying to equalize on every possession hit as they get. Tars throwing in quick. There's Drayton right there. Here the Tars. Ball in. Believe it's going to be too far for Mosley. Yes, but this Tars team is looking really, really confident and composed. They're not, they don't look anxious no more. After that goal, they look really, really confident. And I believe they will stay confident as they try to win this match. It's going to be a charge throw in. Towel tries to clear it. There's Olor. Sarah Scala passes it to a teammate. Steigerwald tries to steal it. A good slide by her. Here's Olor. I mean, excuse me, Tran. Drain trying to get past the Suttles. Little contact by the Suttles. Drain clearly has a high advantage. Good shot. And it goes out. As the flexion hits for will be a corner kick for the Tars. 
Spartans defense looking a little bit like a days ago on that. As the top of the box had two women unmarked. Could have easily shot it at any moment. Here's the corner kick. A low one. Oh! Spawns just got lucky in that play. Here's Jalissa Richardson with the counter. No one ahead of her. She tried to try to get past her teammate. And the Tars regained possession. And she knew she was offside, so she let the ball go by. So Bria Drayton comes off. A nice performance by her. We'll give her a good rest. And Rylan McGrady comes in. Correction, the substitution was for number 18, Bailey Tran. As the PA announcer corrects himself, I will correct myself as well. Bailey Tran actually came off. And Rylan McGrady comes in for her. Renee Tao. It's going to be another goal kick. Almost looked like a corner in that play. Hessel kicks it up. Tars get it. There's Drayton. Just too strong in that play. Goes right back to the goalie. Here's Nap on the other end. Little push and shove. There's Tao. Good pressure by Mosley. Megan Mosley. Here's Hostage. Tao. Good ball in. Alina Ball trailing. Good clearance by the Tars. As it was very well anticipated, um, Renee Tao was going to kick that. Here's the Suttles pressuring Park. And here are the Tars as they come down the pitch. There's Drayton looking like Ronaldo going down. Crosses it in. And it will be a corner for the Tars. A great run by the Tars. Well, it doesn't say on this list, but Bria Drayton looks about 5'11 to 6 foot, maybe. Maybe even taller. She towers upon her teammates and her opponents. It's going to be very hard to guard her tonight. Balls out. Clearance by Barr. Gets us a hostage. Hostage trying to get something going here. Okay. Oh, and she regains the possession. Slides and falls to the ground. Here are the Tars in the retaliation. Tars are communicating with each other. Good read by Tao. But they could not clear it. Good slide tackle by Morris. A great one. And there's Jalissa Richardson on the other end. Slowly coming down. Spawns need more men, uh, excuse me, more women on the opposing pitch. As they come down for that counter. It's a good ball in. The Suttles cannot get it, and it's just too far for both players. Will be a goal kick for Megan Hessel.
Tampa of substitution, entering number 28, Morgan Craven. Replacing number 17, Jackie Moore. So Morgan Craven comes in, and Jackie Morris comes off for the Spartans. Morgan Craven out of Tampa, Florida. Midfielder 5-5. Five five. Looking to make a difference as she comes onto the pitch for the first time tonight. What a way to represent her hometown by playing for the home team. Ball goes out for a Spartan throw in. Elena Barr kicks it right to number two, Scala. Nap regains possession. Richardson just gets to McCraven. There's Nap. She's onside. Oh, and she, excuse me, she's offside. As she knew she was offside. The linesman called that. A great call by the linesman. It's a really difficult job by the linesman to call those plays. It's going to be very controversial as we don't have VAR, so we don't know. Beasley kicks it up. The Settles. little back and forth action here. Renee Tao reads it. Smart play by Tao to get it to a goalie. Little blooper play by Steigerwald. Spartans woman's fighting here. Delafaka gets the victory as Steigerwald pushes it and gets it to Richardson. Here's Knapp. Knapp, a good ball in. Here's McElhone. And it's going to be a corner kick for the Spartans. A great ball in by Knapp. And here's a kick for the Spartans. A good ball in. Heads it. Hits off the crossbar. Wow. Catherine Hostage had a great read on that. Almost went in. If that was just a few inches down, it would be a different game, folks. Wow. As Hessel... Regains possession. Under 10 minutes left to play in this half. Still 1 0 Tars. Just a Richardson. A nice little touch pass by Richardson. Little known look pass by her. Really impressive by, by Richardson. So De La Facar comes off. And Kanaski comes in. Kanaski comes at that winger position. Spawns fighting for McCarthy. Gets it to her teammate. Oh, keeps it in play. Craven sliding. Sliding, gliding. There's Drayton again. Gets to McGrady. There's Barr. Regains possession. Hostage. Trying to get something going here for her, for her teammates. Playing the middle here now. There's Stagawalt. Oh, and the Tars get it. Here's the retaliation. 
towel right there. Always on it. She's always on point with her, her positions, her assignments, everything. Wow. It's no surprise that Vinay Tao was the SEC Player of the Week a couple of weeks ago. But still being very consistent with her play. As the ball goes out for a Tars throw in. Jane gets it down. Acevedo. Levigiano hits it right to Hessels. Hessels trying to get a different approach on the other end of the pitch. The Spartans have really good possessions and more success on the far end where the bench is. We see that little connection by Richardson and Hostage. And Knapp, of course, with the great kicks. As Craven goes down, a quick foul by the Tars. Be a free kick. I think Knapp, uh, I think Knapp kicked it a little bit too quickly for the, the ref. Ref wasn't ready yet. I always call those kicks the quick and go kick. Little pit stop, quick and go. Here's Knapp. The kick. Hostage. Gets it down. Here's a shot. Oh, nice dribble and fake. Here's a shot. Hits off the defender and it'll be a corner. A great selling fake dribbling by Catherine Hostage. Let's see if Hostage can try to get a header in as we close in five minutes left for the half. Quinn Knapp on this end, instead of Stephanie De La Facade, will take the kick. Kick is up. Right to Hostage. And it goes out for a goal kick. I think Hostage had a little bit bad positioning on that play as she was a little bit too close to the crossbar and she couldn't get in. So Bria Drain comes off and Jesse Waynes comes in for the Tars. Also another substitution in for the Tars. Quick clearance by Towel. Spawns pushing it quickly. At least trying. There's Mosley. Nice little dribbling. By McGrady. Here's Hostage. Surpassing her defender. She's onside. Here's the shot. And it just misses. But I believe it will be a corner kick. Cause I, be I saw a deflection on that play. And Catherine Hostis is down. A scary event as ha Hostage trips over the defender as she shot the kick. But she is up. But her defender, I believe that was Merigiano, is still down. She's back on her feet. Grabbing her, I believe, her right knee. Trying to shake it off. A 
Still a little bit shaking up here, folks. Hostage clapping to her teammate saying that she's good. I think the training staff will check out Merigiano. We'll get more updates later on Merigiano. Merigiliano, excuse me. As she steps off the pitch briefly. Spartans almost scored again. Hostage again. No one can stop Captain Hostage. As she tries to score again. Well, for folks, folks just joining us, early in the first half, the Charge scored early to lead 1-0. We have four minutes left in the first half. As Beasley hits it off. Bar and Steigerwald all over that. But the Tars regain possession. Little back and forth sequence here. Beasley fighting. Craven. And As Acevedo hits it down. I believe Park got caught for a handball on that play. McCarthy the kick hits off of Kanaski's shoulders, I believe so. Jalissa Richardson try to get past the defender. Will continue to be Spartan's ball. And the Tars regain possession. Towel right all over that as it goes out. Quickly tries to get it in. And the ball will go out again. Poor positioning for the Spartans defense right here. Leads to great scoring position for the Tars. Another substitution for the for the Tars. Little quick substitution as we close in two minutes. Two minutes left of the first half. Still 1 0 Tars. Here's the throw in. A deep throw in. Staggerwell tries to hit it off. Richardson right there clears it. Hits off a hostage will be another throw in for the Tars. Nice, oh wow, a nice ankle breaker. By McGrady. So two minutes left. Spawn's trying to get the last few possessions going here. Trying to get something going. As we've seen the men's game the last time, me and Tate were commenting that game. As the clock went down, Juancho Fernandez scored with one second left. Let's see if the Spawn women can do that here. Here's the counter. Here's Kanaski pushing down the pitch. Runs into the Tars defense and it goes out for a Spartan throw in. A great push and great emphasis for the Spartans. Little push off by Kanaski will be Tars ball. One minute remaining in the first half. One minute. So one minute left. Tars trying to get something. Maybe it, even the second goal. We'll see. Kanaski 
Gets the ball. Still fighting for it. Here's Barr. Gets it to Hostage. She's onside. Ooh, and Hostage cannot get it. Just a little bit too late on that play. But the teammates are never disappointed with Hostage as her effort is always evident. Three, two, one. And that's the half, folks. Not the ideal half the Spartans would want as they gave up a goal early in the first half. Stick with us, folks. 1 0, Tars. This is the University of Tampa. Explore your dreams. Discover your talents. Get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa. Anyone from the Princeton Review to Condé Nast Traveler regularly ranks Rollins as one of America's most beautiful college campuses. Zoom in though. Take for example our conference style learning environment. Consider the dozens of high-end laboratories and collaborative workshops. Drop in on the professional performance venues where our student artists hone their crafts. Stroll by the courts and playing fields where our student athletes develop lifelong leadership skills. Take a closer look at Rollins and you'll realize our beauty runs deep. This is the University of Tampa. UT students travel from across the nation and around the globe to join a dynamic learning community. There are 150 academic programs, continuing studies for non-traditional students, and a highly ranked graduate school. Academic opportunities are extensive and rigorous, but this mid-sized residential campus retains a welcoming feel. With a student-faculty ratio of 16 to 1, students benefit from direct interaction with expert faculty, a faculty that is passionate about teaching and mentoring. Outside the classroom, UT enjoys a unique environment. Plant Hall, a national historic landmark, is surrounded by modern and historic buildings on 105 acres. UT's beautiful downtown riverfront setting offers a gateway to the heart of a vibrant city. Students are within walking distance of jobs and internships, and the recreational opportunities are endless, both off-campus and on-campus. Students live in upscale residence halls and enjoy diverse activities, including performing arts, guest lectures, 
nearly 200 clubs and organizations, and a nationally ranked NCAA Division II athletics program. The UT experience begins with an innovative first-year program and continues with opportunities to challenge yourself in the honors program, to study abroad, to conduct research with faculty, to do an internship, to volunteer in the community, or to participate in multiple leadership programs. Explore your dreams. Discover your talents. Get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa. Just another ordinary day at UT.
And we're back for the first, the second half. Spartans still trailing 1-0. Drain kicks it off. And we're back. Spartans looking more aggressive already. Pressuring. Nap falls down. Ref no call. It's going to be out for Tars throwing. Nap with the quick foul. Was looking for the foul earlier. And she was just a little bit too aggressive on this one. Kick is up. Stagger will right there. There's Myers. Hostage. A promising run from Hostage. Still keeps it in play. Good defensive sliding. Nap keeps it in play. Tries to cross it here. I think the Spartans, they need to cross it just a little bit too, a little bit earlier. That we can just get it and cross it over to the teammates. I think if they wait too long on those runs, the Tars will catch up and slide it out for either a goal kick or, or a corner kick like we have right now. De La Focal, the kick. As it goes over the goal, it will be a goal kick. Hopefully an early goal here for the Spartans will bring life to the team as they're still chilling by one. And it will jeopardize the the ranking in the SEC conference. Quick handball by Richardson. Be again a spot, I mean, excuse me, a Taj throw in. Fighting for it. Morris keeps it in play. Excuse me, Stagawalt. Even though it's still early in this game, folks, Tars look like the better team out here on the pitch. More united as Tao, a little bit too aggressive on that play, gets a quick foul, and she's going to get a booking early in the second half. And she knew it was coming too. We've seen the strength from Tao, but sometimes she can get a little bit too carried away, as she did in this previous. This previous possession. So we have a quick free kick here. And the kick. Right to Hessel as she gets it down. Quickly gets it to Knapp. Spawn's really trying to push it here. Nice fake by Knapp. Delphacard. Hostage. Try to cut in. Oh, a good ball in. And it's just too far. But a great idea by Hostage. Not to go to Delphacard, but to go to Richardson as she went to the middle. Ooh, I believe Nap on that play hit Drayton. She's still down. Still down. Ref no call on that play. 
And now he stops it. Put a nap on that play. Try to hit the ball, but accidentally hit Drayton's head. And she's left shooken up. But she gets up. So it's always a good sign that we love to see them getting up after a crucial hit like that. I believe the ref is going to... Oh, he's not. As both teams regroup here. Scary for them from Drayton. A little breeze we have here in the sky, folks. I don't know if you can hear it in the live stream. But the weather is getting colder. It's definitely feeling like f it's definitely feeling like fall in Tampa. I wouldn't say get your hoodies out. I wouldn't say get your hoodies out, but I would say bring an extra pair of clothing as it's getting a little bit cold here. As Drayton goes off, another Tars player walking off with the training staff. Still haven't seen Merigliano, excuse me, Merigliano hasn't came back onto the pitch as she was previously injured again. Richardson fighting for it. There's Drayton looking fresh and new. Running down, gets it in. Oh, it just misses it. Wow, a really promising run. Cuts right through the defense, but cannot complete the play. Spartans really got lucky on that one. A great run by Bria Drayton, but could not capitalize on that. As the kick goes up, Quick foul from Drayton. Leads to a Spartans ball. Spartans had a little lack of urgency in the second, I mean the first half. Let's see if they bring the intensity here in the second half. As the ball goes in, Hassis is right there. The volley hits off the crossbar. It cannot go in. Hits the volley again. And it glazes over the goal. Wow. Anything in soccer can happen, folks. And we just seen it there. Captain Hashish, her third attempt tonight. Second off the crossbar. But cannot conclude. It's always a saying here, folks. So close yet so far. And that's the Spartans here tonight. Seems like Haas is the only primary scorer here for the Spartans as the other teammates haven't got a chance to score. Deep throw in here. There's Duffy. Tao heads it down. Pushing up the pitch with the speed. Tao, all around athlete, gets it to Della Fakad. Della Fakad trying to cross it. Late on that play, and it will be a corner kick. Again, like I said, when the Spartans are going down the pitch, 
I feel like they're waiting a little bit too long to cross it. And it's leading to either deflection out or a goal kick. Delphacad kicks it to Knapp. Fakad back on side, cross in. Hostage couldn't get it. Hits off of the Tars. And the Tars clear it. There's towel. A misread on there. She could not clear it. And Knapp regains the coverage to help out towel. Great teammate play by Emily Knapp. I mean, excuse me, Quinn Knapp. Deflection off of the head. Gets it right to Hessel. A scary play on that one. Drain almost got that ball in that last play. So ball goes out. For a Spartans throw in. Now trying to find a teammates. Good pressure by the Tars. So everywhere. All you see is blue and yellow. There's Drayton. And the ball goes out. For a Tars throw in. Thought it would be a Spartans throw in, but ref calls it for the Tars. And now it will be a Spartans throw in. Knapp gets the hostage. Steigerwald trying to play it middle here. Gets it to McElhone, who just came back in after a long stint on the bench. And here's Drayton. Steigerwald right behind it. I mean, excuse me, Morris. Morris, great speed from her as she clears it out. There's Drayton right there. Towel guarding her. A perfect matchup, in my opinion. As the only defender, in my opinion, that would get Drayton is Towel. With her defensive ferocity. Hesso kicks it up. Can she keep it in play? No, she can't. Seems to be a little bit of miscommunication from Megan Hessel and Stephanie Delafacad. Here are the Tars. Deflection hits out for a Tars throw in. Tars trying to get that second goal early in the second half as it's 35 minutes left. Still 1-0 if you're just joining us. The Tars scored early in the first half. His throw in. James right there. His shot. Hits right off of Essel and she just recovers it. A good shot by Taylor Duffy. There's Morris. McCarthy. I mean, excuse me, Della Facade. Oh, a nice dribbling by Hostage. And it'll be a, a Tars throw in. Should have been a Spartans throw in that play. Yeah, surprising call by the ref. He was right there, so he had a really, really good view on that play. But nevertheless, here's the throw-in. 
And that will be a Spartans throw in. Let's see if the Spartans try the other side of the pitch as they always have more success on this side of the pitch where McElhone is and, of course, Jalissa Richardson. Richardson trying to keep it in play. Falls down and it will be a free kick. Great, great positioning for a potential score ring play on this next play. Richardson left unmarked as she goes down to the box. Oh, she stays up. Of course, she's right there. Shot. And as anticipated, it's deflected. Here's the counter. Richardson right next to her. Looking like DK Metcalf. Here's the ball. And Hessel is right there. Good defense and good coverage overall from the Spartans. Spartans still in that 4-3-2-1 position. Not looking to change their perspective. Gets the ball in. There's hostage right there. Trying to keep it in play. Trying to razzle-dazzle. Passive defenders. Gets it back to the middle. There's Steigerwald. Ooh, trying to shoot it deep. But it hits off. Oh, a great ball in! Oh, and she cannot capitalize. Wow, what a great ball from Quinn Knapp to get it to Steigerwald. I mean, excuse me, Jackie Morris. She was onside. Everything was perfect, but she cannot connect on the play. Great intelligence by Quinn Knapp. Quinn Knapp, of course, out of Boca Raton, Florida. The f junior, 5'9". Oh, onside here. Here's Captain Hostage. Can she score? And she scores! Goal! Spartans! Catherine Hostage, after her fourth shot attempt, finally connects and equalizes for a 1-1 in this match. Wow. Catherine Hosses, the grad student at a Syracuse University, finally gets it in right between the goalie's legs. A great sequence of events for the Spartans. And here's the retaliation. Tars. Spartans regain the possession. And it goes out. Like I said before, folks. Now that the Spartans have scored, let's see if they can score another goal and capitalize on this win. Or will the score remain the same? 1-1. We will see. Definitely this, this goal brings momentum to the team as they were lacking urgency. But nevertheless, here are the Spartans. Ball up. And it goes out as Captain Hostage gave up on the play. Substitution in here. Madison Macaron comes off. Jalissa Richardson, a great performance from her, comes out. Beasley kicks it up. Moore is fighting for it. The subtles. A correction on the assist on the hostage goal. The assist is to number 19, Stephanie De La Boca. And it's going to be a throw in for the Tars.
Tars, even though they gave up a goal here, still looking promising and strong. Not shaken up from that goal as they've been in this position before. Like I said before, folks, the Tars have not lost since September 16th. They've either won or they drew with their opponents. So tying is really, really common for them. Here's the retaliation. Here's Knapp pushing down the pitch. Trying to find her teammates. Morris is open. Gets it to the middle. Stagawo gets the play. There's hostage onside. Can she cross it? No one is there but the defender. And they clear it. I believe they're going to call a handball on that play. A late call by the refs. The ref is talking to Captain Hostage about the numerous occurrences of handballs. As we've seen it, really, really evident during this match. Both teams have seen a lot of handballs, but the ref has been lenient and up until now. Nice touch by Park. Nap. Ref, no call. And it goes out for a Spartan throw in. Give me another throw in for the Spartans. Excuse me, free kick. Oh, actually, a throw in, excuse me. <laughs> Just reading off of Quinn Knapp's positioning here. Towel gets it back to the goalie. Hessel. Hessel trying the other side. I believe that's the Suttles right there. There's McElhorn. Oh, hits off her head. And she is shaken up a little bit by that. Certainly not expecting that. And here's the play. The Tars. Little miscommunication. Spartans. And deflection off the head again. And she's shaking up a little bit. <laughs> if this was NBA TNT right here, we'd be having the Shaq and the Fool moment right here. As Shaq would have had a laugh at this. But nevertheless, we always love to see the players perfectly in health. As we never want to see them be hurt. But it's quite ironic that both teams had the same occurrence back to back. The kick by McElhone gets it to Morris. Oh, a nice nutmeg. Balls out. Hessels just gets it. Good clearance by her. Here's the Lafacard. Tars regain possession. Passing within within the seams. Seems like the little little back and forth action here. Steigerwald clears it out. Twenty five minutes left in this match. Still one one. Ball in. Drayton gets it to her teammates. Tars trying to get something going here. In good position to score. Right on top of the box. The Suttles gets the play. Gets it to McElhone. Little shove by the Tars. 
hostage trying to fight. Get past the defender, and she does. Here's hostage. Oh, loses the ball. There's Duffy. Hits it right to McCarthy. Jackie Moore is fighting, but she loses the battle. Here's 23. Gets to Drayton. Tosh trying to get something going here. They can't seem to capitalize. Here's Hostage trying to find her teammates. Working on the other end. Oh, a good ball by Della Fakad. Bar brings it up and stops suddenly. But Della Fakad kicks it. A desperate shot. And it goes over the goal for a goal kick. So Jackie Morris comes off and Morgan Craven comes in. The hometown hero, sophomore. Drayton keeps it in play. Getting it to her teammates that they try to end. Push it up the middle. Here's 20. 20. Tran trying to get something going here. There's 23. Acevedo crosses it in. There's Park and Renee Tao. And the Suttles clears it for a Tars throw in. Ball crosses in. Stagwell clears it. And it goes out for another throw in. Here's the Tars. Looking very promising. Cross in. And a, a late clearance. But ball still in play. Crosses in. There's Drayton. Drayton kicks it. Deflection. Still in play. Great defense by the Spartans. And Knapp lets it clear out. Wow. Two, three, almost four opportunities on that play for the, for the Tars. But they could not capitalize. Now in substitution entering number 19, Anna Todd, replacing number 2, Sarah Scala. So Scala comes off, I mean Scala comes off, and her teammate replaces her for the Tars. Knapp kicks it off. There's Craven. Doesn't win the battle here. A good ball in, but the Suttles is right there. And it goes out for a throw in. Here the Tars. A shot opportunity here. As she falls down, ref no call. Todd fighting. And here's Barr. A ball, a good ball in. McElhone. And it goes out for a throw in. A great run for Madison McElhone. Nap trying to find her teammates here as they try to come closer to her. 
but no one is there as the Tars regain possession. Defense not looking good on here as Stagwell has to come. Almost had in that play. Cross in. There's Duffy, the volley. And Dream could not kick it in. Perfect positioning, but better defense. Wow. Bria Dream, we've been talking about her all night. Cannot capitalize after numerous and numerous occasions. Stars fans growing frustrated here as Drayton is trying to score. And here's the kick by Duffy. Heather to keep it in. Duffy gets the ball again. Another cross. Park tries to head it in. But the Suttles is right there. And the ball goes out for a Tars throw in. Tars have definitely had the majority possession of the match and had more opportunities to score as she's offside in that play. Definitely more opportunities to score, but could not capitalize. So the Tampa Spartans, women's and soccer team, are both versed in Rollins today. Men's soccer team won 1-0 at Rollins College. We love to see that as they improved to 10-2 and, and I believe 6-2 in the conference. 7-2 in the conference, excuse me. Men's will have a, a away stint, a long away stint, as Haas is right here. Here's the strike. Little chip, and she cannot get it. Seems like... A little bit shaken up in that play. So Craven comes off. Kanaski number 14 comes in. De La Fakad. The corner kick. Goalie hits it out. And Drayton's right there. Spins. But cannot regain possession. <clears throat> Tao trying to get to the other end. There's Nap. And Duffy clears it out for a Spartan throw in. Nap trying to cheat the system here, trying to get more positioning. As the ref is sounding the Go down a little bit more. Kicks it right to the defender, Park. Park, as we remember, scored the first goal and the only goal for the Tars. A great volley. Great, a great volley off a free kick. It's going to be another Spartans throw in. Nap, she sees the left card right there, but gets it to hostage. Hosh is double teamed. No high boot call. Yes, it's called now. That's an obvious foul. Oh, it's going to be a Tars ball. But the Spartans trying to regain possession here. There's Park right here. Pushes it up. Really aggressive. Back and forth action here. As both teams here cannot get a grip. Hessel trying to find her teammates here to make smart decisions. A good ball. 
Sagawa fighting, trucking down any defender in sight. There's Kanaski. Can she keep it in play? No, she can't. And it will be a uh, Tars throw in. Under 15 minutes left in this match, folks. Still 1-1. One, one. Here's a throw in for the Tars. Bar pressuring in that play. A little push and shove. There's De La Facade, but no one is there. A little unfortunate plays from the Spartans. Trying to get something going here. As they scored early in the second half, but haven't retaliated or even, even capitalized on their previous goal. As Hashes goes down, both of them go down. And it'll be another throw in for the Spartans. Nap comes up. Desperate crossing right here. But works out. Oh. I believe she's going to be offside on that play. I think that was a handball. Excuse me. Beasley kicks it up. Ooh, a great header from Stagowalt. Really bringing the tenacity tonight, folks. Go always count on Stagowalt. As Hessel gets it. A deep kick from her. There's De La Facade. It's going to be Tar's ball. Ten minutes left. Still 1-1. One, one. Could be anybody's ball game here, folks. I believe. I'm not sure if there's overtime. But hopefully there is overtime. Because we would love to see a winner. Instead of a tie. Spawn still in the same formation here. A spaced out formation. As I previously mentioned, the 4 2 3 1. Coach is still sticking to that. Didn't want to change it. Alcevedo gets it to her teammate. Still, there's Drayton. Keeps in the play. There's a cross. Oh, she keeps it in play. Duffy right there. Kanaski trying to get it. Good defense by Kanaski, which leads to a goalie scoop up. Nap is right there. Oh, there's Acevedo. You've been saying her name a lot tonight. There's the run from the spot. I mean, from the, from the Tars. Duffy, the cross. No one is there as it goes out for a goal kick. So Tran comes off. Number two, Scala comes back in. We've seen Scala having some good action on the pitch tonight. Coach sees that, recognizes that, and puts her back in.
Sagawa again the header. A nice header by Hostage. Looking out for her teammate. But the ball goes out for Spartan Stolen. Hostage fighting, pushing and shoving. Gets past the defender. And it's going to be a foul on the Tars. It's going to be a free kick here, folks. We've seen this in Champions Leagues. We've seen this in Premier Leagues. In any kind of football. Football for international soccer for American. That position right there for a free kick is really crucial and dangerous for any defense. So the the kick crosses. No one contacts on the ball. No contact on the ball, and it goes out. Oh, excuse me. There was a deflection, as the linesmen see that, and it's going to be a throw in for the Spartans. I personally didn't see any deflection, but nevertheless, here we are. Tao, good ball in. Oh, we just misread that, McElhon. Taj trying to get something going here. Not really looking like the same team from the first half. But here's the push. Tao, of course, she's right there. Hits at the bar. There's hostage. Unmarked and onside. Here's the strike. And it's a goal for Catherine Hostage. Goal. They call it offside. They call it offside. Nope, I don't think so. Think it's gonna be a goal for the Spartans, and they need to run. Under 10 minutes left, folks. Another goal from Captain Hostage. Every game she comes out, bringing the tenacity and contributing for her teammates. Fun goal, by number 10, Hostage. Great goal from her, unmarked, and as predicted, she contributes and scores. Three goals in the last two games for Captain Hostage. Hard work pays off, folks, as we just seen. Drayton, the retaliation. Good defense from the Suttles. And the Spartans clear it out. A great goal with almost five minutes left for the Spartans as they scored the right time. Let's see if the Tars can equalize. Tars in dangerous position right here. Keeping the streak alive of not losing. It's been over a month, folks. So the streak's in danger tonight as there's six minutes left and they're trailing by one. Tars, the kick. The Suttles takes the goalie's job and kicks it out for another corner kick. Spar, I mean, excuse me. Tars, not looking defeated here. Still have promising time. Here's the kick. Heather keeps it in play. Hostage clears it out. Playing offense and defense tonight, Catherine Hostage. Really trying to ensure that sh she keeps the lead for her team. Such a clutch player, folks. Playing like Ronaldo out there. Scoring at the right moment, at the right time. So it's going to be a big substitution here. Three players come off and three players come on for the Spartans. I mean, for the Tars. Ball in. There's McGirt. 
Gets it to Olor. Olor trying to get something going here. Scala trying to pass it to a teammate. There's a Gert, McGirt. Nice save from Hustles. A great shot, but better defense. Gets it down. Here's Hostage. Bad call on that play. She had two wide open teammates as they seemed frustrated on the other end. Had Alina Barr and made Madison McElhone, McElhone unmarked. So, Altonen, number 20 for the Tars. It's not going to throw it in. She's on the sub off. And Tran's going to come back in. Sagawa heads it down. And it goes out for a, a Spartan's throw in. Three minutes left here, folks. Still 2 1 Spartans. Let's see if they can hold the lead here. Obvious handball as the linesman couldn't say anything because it's not his job. It's the ref's job. Ref didn't call anything on that play. Sagawa gets it to Kanaski. Hostage. Trying to regain possession. Obviously a handball as she came down on the ball with her hand. Tars looking a little bit desperate now as they have to get it down the pitch. You're going to see desperate ball here with two rem minutes remaining, two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Tars trying to fight. Tampa coach telling her teammates to get down and press. And Stagowal is down. A little bit shaken up on the play. Chaining staff comes out. Stiger will put her body on the line. Every possession. We love to see the effort. But we I always want our players to stay healthy and safe. As her, head are, her hands are over her heads. And she will walk off the pitch. So Jackie Morris will play Stagowal. Jackie Morris, another great midfielder. Could barely even tell the team those two players apart because of their great play. Kick in. Volley. Let's see if that happens. Jane kicks it. Hessel recovers it. 150 remaining here. Tars looking a little bit tired. Not really trying that much. Spartans looking like the dominant team right now. As the ball goes out for Spartans throw in. Oh, so Morris will come out. Stagowal said, nope, I'm good. I'm good to play. No need to sub me out. I'll come back in and deliver this win. I 
Another Spartans throw in. 115 remaining. As time goes out, so does the chance of the Tars to win this game or at least equalize. Let's say, let's say equalize. As one minute remaining, Tars now bring, now hustling. One minute remaining in the half. One minute. As the ball goes out for a Tars throw in. Tars have to hurry up here. 40 seconds remaining. Nevertheless, there is Steigerwald. Ball pushes it up. One last remaining run here. Tanaski's onside. Unmarked. Here's a cross. No one is there. Tanaski again. And it's going to be a corner. Oh, excuse me. A goal kick. 20 seconds remain. Beasley kicks it off. Trying to get it quickly down the pitch. 15 seconds. That's going to do it, folks. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And that's the ball game, folks. Spartans win 2-1 and improve to 7-5-1. and one. The Rawlins Tars fall to 6-5-2 and two now. A great game we saw, folks. As the Spartans extend their lead to two games now, after coming off of two losses, have a two-game winning streak now. And the Rawlins Tars finally lose for the first time since September 16th. A great game you saw, folks. From all of us from Spawn TV, I'm Brandon Davis. Have a good night, folks.